In this video, I plan to show you some of the T-SQL constructs, which are lesser known to developers. In SQL Server 2005 edition, the way you could go ahead and declare a variable, set it the value, and then you could work on the variable. This is a common way in which developers went about writing T-SQL code. This code is still prevalent and if I execute this code, you do get a counter value of 1. Now let us look at what did SQL Server 2008 introduce. SQL Server 2008 introduced an interesting construct of going ahead, of declaring and initializing a default value in one single statement. This means if I execute these two sentences in one go, I do get the same counter value of 1. This gives me an interesting behavior because in the earlier version of SQL Server wherein you went ahead and declared, a declare could never raise an error. From SQL Server 2008, you could have the declare statement which can raise an error because there could be a possibility wherein you have gone ahead and initialized a value which is not compatible to the data type. Moreover, if you want to go ahead and try out, see what the profiler can give you. In earlier versions, the declare did not give you any output on the profiler. If you go ahead and initialize while the declaration happens, like in SQL Server 2008, you would see this is captured in the profiler. 